Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Most welcome to Triangular Kamal Academy. Today I am going to discuss one of the most important topics in higher mathematics class 9 and 10, which is chapter 2 algebraic expressions. We know algebraic expression is one of the most important topics in higher maths and there are different types of mathematics sometimes factorization simplifications and how to find the symmetric and cyclic order so different types of maths partial fractions that's why these topics is almost little bit difficult and most important in our ssc level students and today i'm going to discuss these topics formally from exercise to number one to number last and in the first content i will discuss uh, four mcq number one to number four and so discussion related with the mcq i will discuss one by one and number one first uh, which one of the following expression is called symmetric and first of all you have to know what is symmetric and the symmetric expressions like uh, like suppose a for a b is equal uh, a square plus twice a b plus b square and there are two variables a and b if we change here a to b and b to a what will be final result like this one will be b square and this one will be twice b a and this one will be a square and when you change a to b and b to a final result is similar with previous one and when you change the variable in the first one to second one second one to third one when the both case are the final result are the same and then on that time this one is called symmetric so here if we change a to b and b to c a to b and b to c and c to a this result will be same and if we change here x to y y to z and z to x and this final result also will be same that's why in the first number one number a and number b both are symmetric expressions like this one is given here x y plus y z plus z x okay if you change here x to y y to z and z to x and the final result will be x to y z z x plus x y so after changing the result is like as the previous one that's why this one is also called the symmetric expression so in the first one number a and number b both are correct answer here now in second one uh, p x y equal x cube plus y cube plus z cube minus 3 x y z then and the function is given here three variables then p of x y z is the cyclic number first information second information here p of x y z is symmetric and third one p of 1 minus 2 and 1 equals 0 which one of the following information is correct okay we will review one by one and the first mcq we discuss the symmetry when we change x to y y to z and z to x and when the both result the previous one and the next one will be same then this one is called the symmetry and now we have to discuss the cyclic order actually there are difference in between cyclic and symmetry like this one which one is called the cyclic order like this there is three variables x y z and when we see three variables are arranged in a different sequence like x then y then z and then x just after z and when you see these types of sequence in between three variables these are called cyclic so these are actually sorry these are called cyclic order and a symmetric so here x y z are in a specific in fixed arrays so like here x cube y cube z cube like first x then y then z and 
three variables x, y, z also in a sequence order. That's why this first information is right. The x, y, z is a cyclic. Now we will review symmetric order. Symmetric means we will change x to y, y to z, and z to x. Then what will be our final result? Uh, like p of uh, p of x y z here given x cube plus y cube plus z cube minus 3 x y z okay when you change x to y this one will be y and y to z z z to x the final result y cube plus z cube plus x cube minus 3 y z x so actually what we see here the previous one and next one both are same when you change x to y y to x to y y to z z to x then the final result is similar with the previous one that's why this p of x y function is also symmetric now you will review when x equal to 1 y equal to minus 2 and z equal to 1 the result of the function will be that is functional value will be 0 now we will review number c uh, number c this one is okay first we write here p of x y z equal x cube plus y cube plus z cube minus 3 x y z okay now p of 1 minus 2 1 so put here x cube so x equal 1 1 cube plus uh, y equal minus 2 so using here bracket minus 2 then z equal 1 1 cube minus 3 1 minus 2 and z equals to 1 so final result this one is 1 minus 8 uh, plus 1 uh, 3 to the 6 plus 6 uh, finally 8 minus 8 equals 0 so p of 1 minus 2 1 the result is 0 so here first information uh, cyclic because the variable are arranged in a specific order and number 2 p x y z are symmetric and number 3 1 minus 2 1 the functional value will be 0 that's why the first second and third three information are right so right answer will be d uh, now this one if the if one of the factors x cube plus px square minus x minus 7 polynomial is x minus 7 then answer question number three and number four so here given information uh, polynomial algebraic expressions are given here as far as you have to answer number 3 and number 4 and what is the value of number p the option minus 7 7 54 by 7 and 477 but only information x minus 7 is one of the factors of x cube plus px square minus x minus 7 and how many factors you will get here uh, when we arrange all algebraic letter uh, in standard polynomial the maximum power x cube then the second maximum then the third then constant one so here leading power or leading index leading coefficient is the three that's why we will get here three factors uh, within three factors one factors is given here x minus seven and the number four what will be other two factors so if one factor is x minus 7 or x plus 7 what will be other two factors these are number question number four and the first information you will find the number three answer using these factors x minus 7 and do you know what is the remainder theorems uh, if x minus 7 okay give attention to the numbers first to write uh, algebraic expressions given here let uh, the variable is x so p of x equal uh, x cube uh, plus p x square minus x minus 7 okay uh, let let x 
plus uh, x plus 7 uh, x sorry x plus 7 is one of the factor one of the factors of p of x then uh, p of minus 7 will be 0 and we know when the factors like x plus 7 is given so first you have to write x plus 7 equals 0 then value here x equal minus 7 so when this one will be factors then x when you place x equal x equal minus 7 the functional value will be 0 and this is the remainder theorems okay using this remainder theorems we will find the value of number p so now i write here uh, this one will be now p of 7 equals 0 so right here put here minus 7 in terms of x so minus 7 q uh, minus 7 q plus p multiply minus 7 whole square minus minus 7 and this one is minus 7 equals 0 just review again uh, minus 7 q p multiply minus 7 square minus minus 7 then minus 7 now do simple calculation using calculator uh, minus 7 cube this is now 7 uh, cube this one is 300 uh, this one is minus uh, 340 uh, this one will be 749 so 49 uh, p this one is 7 plus minus minus plus 7 and minus 7 this one is 0 okay uh, now eliminate this plus 7 and minus 7 and shift minus this one to right side and p will be 343 divided by 49 divided by 49 so this answer is 7 so when uh, x plus 7 is one of the factors of p of x uh, then x p of minus 7 will be 0 and using this remainder theorems we get the final result of p equals 7 and our information number b is the right answer p equal minus 7 and what will be other two factors here now using p equal 7 using p equal 7 now we will do simple factorization this one and so we will get three factors okay like this one now uh, information is given here uh, p of x p of x equal uh, x cube plus p x square minus x minus 7 already said here we will get here three factors because here leading power is 3 or leading uh, maximum power is 3 and within three factors so one factor is given here x plus 7 right here x plus 7 and x plus 7 three times uh, using simple gap here the first information here x cube inside the bracket we see her x so common will be x square now do simple multiplication x multiply x square this one will be x cube x square multiply plus 7 this one will be oh sorry right here the value of p equals 7 uh, now uh, 7 as uh, this is the 7 x square and now if you write here if you write here 7 x square and then again this one is x already we used here okay the symbol we can write no right to write here so difficult just to use the simple technique here right x square is common so x plus 7 and then minus 1 is common x plus 7 just now write here x plus 7 uh, x square minus 1 and x plus 7 using her formula s square minus b square the result will be this one so one factors is number first information given another two factors x plus one and x minus one which is our number d is the right answer so in the first information a and b second information the number d is right answer one two and three and number three answer will be seven and number four answer is number d and finally we have done 4 mcq in the next tutorial we start from the number 5 
I uh, hope you have enjoyed this tutorial very much. If you have any questions, please do comments below the video links. I will give uh, I will give the answer as early as possible. And thank you very much. And hopefully see you again in the next tutorial. Allah Hafiz. Assalamualaikum warahmatullah.